welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. 1988's Dead Heat, which you can stream on Amazon Prime, opens like every 80s action movie with dumb criminals idiot. Ah. facing a wall of police who are still helpless without one of those pairs of chalk and cheese buddy cops who cruised the streets in a Chevy during the 80s. These are our heroes. Good afternoon, police detectives Mortis and Bigelow. Here to save the day via an insane firefight. <laughs> Quipping as their colleagues are killed. Hey Roger, a little too early in the morning for this, isn't it? Even at this point, I've seen madder stuff that we're expected to take seriously, but things do now take a left-hand turn. Why are these guys dead? We've hit them about 50 times each. And once they've had the equally familiar encounter with their captain. Disrespectful conduct flippant and tasteless verbal remarks. That left-hand turn becomes a corkscrew. And if you shoot them, they don't die. Not only that... They had autopsies. Most people do not make two visits to the morgue. Yes, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to admit it is very strange. That seems fair. And the trail leads to a science place where... <laughs> and for those who haven't been paying attention... This is how they resurrect the dead which would seem to reduce the stakes to absolute zero, but... Irreversible cell damage. You've got 10 to 12 hours, tops. I don't know exactly what qualifies as a spoiler for this film, but basically, from here on in, this is lethal weekend at Bernie's crossed with Death Becomes Her. This is gonna be great. Although it's upfront about another obvious influence in the excellent 1949 film noir, D.O.A. Sure, I can stand here and talk. I can breathe and I can move, but I'm not alive. Which, incidentally, is also the source for Jason Statham's crank. But while DOA is serious, Dead Heat is not. Oh, this is nonsense. And thank God. There is a lot in this film that would send it straight into regular dark corners. The blasé attitude to the deaths of everyone but the stars. The sheer stupidity of their investigation. They don't go back to the science place until the end. What the hell is going on? At one point, Mortis says... The most important thing for me to do right now is to nail whoever did this to me. That would be you, you jackass. All this happens because you and your partner did something dumb. But the movie is saved by two things. Firstly, as I mentioned, it's tongue-in-cheek. And it does it right. There's definitely something very weird going on here. So this is more like a parody of the ridiculousness of 80s action. It's indestructible characters. And numbnutted stupidity. Take it easy, mister. You're not well. The other thing it has in its favour... Vincent Price's role is sadly not a major one and they really should have expanded it because if you want someone to show up and make all this stupidity seem real, then you want Vincent Price. As you will see, ladies and gentlemen, the demonstration that you are about to witness makes burial somewhat unnecessary. And at its worst, Dead Heat is a measure of what Price does so well that so few can, because when it tries to be serious, or God forbid, heartfelt, it falls on its ass. Oh, that doesn't give you the right to be rude. But in the next scene, our heroes are battling resurrected Chinese food. Oh, no. And we're back on track. Hey, Raj, what's up, man? You look all freaked out all of a sudden. It's a dumb film, but mostly in the right way. God wants us to live forever. And even if he doesn't, we can always buy him off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Dead Heat did not make it into our Vincent Price Top 10, but please check out what did here. Please let us know your thoughts on this ridiculous film in the comments below.